Dear Kaylee, you haven't made any good art for a long time now. Has it been years? It feels like years. You're in a creative block. You've been through so many of these before, and yet you're lying to yourself and telling yourself this is the first time. You tell yourself this is the first time you've continuously shown up to your studio, to your desk, to your journal, and still poured absolute bullshit of yourself. This is not the first time. This has happened countless times before. This has happened more severely and more intensely than this time. But right now you tell yourself, I am the only person to ever go through this. This is the only time it's ever happened in the history of the world. The muse is laughing at me. I'm a fraud. The inner critic is loud now. He's telling me, who do you think you are? You are to sh you sh Why do you keep trying? This time your inner critic is called Dave. Sometimes you reply, none of that matters. I don't need to be the best artist to make art. I don't need to be actively creating in order to be an artist at all. Creative block is normal. It'll come back. And sometimes you don't reply with anything. Sometimes you agree with him. Today, you've decided to allow Dave to talk and continue anyway. Today, you've decided that if your creative block happens when you art journal, well, <laughs> you'll try another creative medium. You'll vlog. Holy sh**, you'll vlog. You decide to vlog, not only because it's been on your heart since 2018, and you have 237 video clips of all your attempts. You tell yourself those aren't failures. They're not 237 failures. They are evidence of trying. You decide to vlog not only because of stupid Iris. Stupid Iris who asks, why not? And says, you need to make it exist. No, you decide to vlog. Because the drive to work today always pretty because today feels like one of the few days Germany makes you glad to be an immigrant lately you've been doing a really good job with physical acts of being kind to yourself T's letting you sleep in and takes E when he wakes up before five you're making yourself delicious breakfasts today was oats with blackberries and chia and hemp seeds and you don't have email on your phone. You get to work at 8, which is late for you. But you force yourself to delay working as an act of self-love. Working feels like an act of self-love, but it's not. After watering the plants you forgot to water on Monday, you make coffee. Prison coffee, granule coffee, coffee that's from South Africa, that ties you back home. You drink it with regular cow's milk. You'll never be a real vlogger if you keep drinking cow's milk. But since you are filming yourself making coffee, maybe, maybe there's something there. It's half past eight now. You've put off not working for as long as you can stand. When you've got a creative block, you know you can always fall back to the work. You laugh at the wallpaper that you set. It's hilarious, even though it's not that pretty. You scan in a receipt for more plants. And you wonder if other businesses have a plant budget too.
Creative black means you get to use only your favorite black pens. You're not big on supplies, but you're big on black pens. And after two solid years of planning exclusively with an Apple Pencil and an iPad, you're convinced using pen and paper again will break this creative block. There's not much to do today. So it's really good all these vlog feelings happen today. I don't know how people with actual jobs vlog. I can't, I need to be having nothing on. You shouldn't start your day with email, but it's hard to break the habit. There are a lot of exciting work projects at the moment. It's important to have exciting work projects when there is a full wall of a creative block. ClickUp's opened, tells me exactly what I need to do today. And something really exciting is a podcast episode that's going out. It's a photographer this time. Maybe now dad will finally listen to the podcast. And then it's time to check on the Gemesi community. 3,483 beautiful artists consistently showing up for themselves, for the community, for their art. This community is the best. This is where you get your refilling. Remember that this is where you get your refilling. Let it refill you. When a creative block is too strong, there are others that are able to break down for you, that are able to whittle it away. There's guilt too. Seeing all these people creating art, it tends to make you feel like, damn, I should be making art. Who am I to facilitate this community? And you remind yourself, that you're the facilitator. You don't need to be making the best art. You just need to be making sure everyone creates their best art. And then it's time to show up. Just because the muse isn't showing up for you, doesn't mean you're not going to show up for the muse. You'll be here, consistently showing up, consistently making actual nonsense you're looking at the art that you made yesterday and you're wondering oh my goodness when is this nonsense going to stop and you're gonna make more nonsense today and probably more nonsense tomorrow but one day the nonsense is going to stop and Flo will come back stared at the nonsense long enough.
to try again. Okay, you showed up. The muse didn't arrive, but you made out anyway. It was terrible. You didn't like it, but you showed up. Now it's time for lunch. When you're going through creative block like this, you know it's important not to scroll. Oh, no. no. Never mind. At least now it's Reddit instead of TikTok. Good on you for deleting TikTok. Since it's spring and it's Germany, the weather's decided to match your creative ambitions. It's getting cozy. You can turn the studio cozy lights on now. And just like that, the need to create has come back. You ready to keep searching again?
that you've made something you like. A bit of it. Not all of it. Not everything. But you put in a lot today. And you found something you like. You might even have a new creative idea. And because at the moment, all creative ideas revolve around DIY stencil, you whip out your dusty, dirty silhouette portrait. You've been asking yourself a question lately. Question that comes up every time you have creative block. Who am I? If I'm not an artist, who am I? If I'm not making art, who am I? If I can't use art to figure out who I am, who am I? And now that you have a question for your art, maybe you have something that it can answer. And it doesn't matter that you somehow managed to <laughs> write Who am I? It doesn't matter. What matters is that you showed up today. You showed up for yourself. You showed up for your art even though it wasn't showing up for you. And even though you're an artist who's not making art at the moment. Both of those things can live together. Mm -hmm.